Sure. So we're studying the role on microRNAs and we try to understand specifically how they work in the pathogenesis of bladder cancer because our ultimate goal is, of course, to find novel drugs in the field. So microRNAs are novel small RNAs that uh, actually are the negative regulators of gene expression. So they can act as oncogenes or uh, tumor suppressors. There have been identified about a thousand uh, microRNAs uh, and our goal was to study one specific one, microRNA21, because it seems it has some oncogenic properties in bladder cancer. So we want to see, why we start with patients. So we took uh, patient samples and we found that microRNA21 is overexpressed in tumors with high states compared to low states and therefore tumors compared to normal. So since we had this as our baseline, we wanted to see what is happening in a molecular level. At UCLA, at Dr. Slayman's lab, we have a panel of 28 bladder cancer cell lines, and all of the cell lines have been characterized in a molecular level. After performing microarray analysis, we identified a 15 gene signature that actually is inversely correlated to microRNA21. So on those cell lines that microRNA21 is upregulated, there are specific genes that are downregulated. Uh, out of those genes, there's a specific one that is a novel one. It's called ppp 2 r 2 and it seems that it has some tumor suppressor uh, properties. So microRNA21 has a specific complementarity to the 3' UTR of this gene and downregulates this gene. What is very interesting to see is that when microRNA21 is overexpressed and ppp 2 r 2 is downregulated, their pathway gets activated and so there is proliferation, invasiveness, and that's a novel pathway that hasn't been studied yet in bladder cancer. So the big question that we ask is, what is going to happen if we actually inhibit that pathway? Therefore, we used a very novel drug. We constructed a microRNA21 antisense on oligonucleotide. So it's, an, it's called log nucleic acid. It's a very stable molecule. It's a very stable molecule, and it seems has high efficacy. So first of all, we start using this drug in cell lines, in the panel of the cell lines that we are having, and we're able to show that when we use this inhibitor, there's significant suppression of proliferation and invasiveness. So then we moved in a mouse model, and we use this drug with different routes of administration, different doses and different schedule. And we found that IV administration weekly uh, can suppress up to 90% the tumor growth in mice. So our next step is really to try to do toxicology studies and eventually start designing our first phase one clinical trial. Thank you.